Glory, what is it? I'm coming for you, Michael. For the horror enthusiast where we discuss serial killers true crime and horror movie reviews today's episode of horror movie monday is my reaction to that halloween kills alternate ending so let's talk about this because i feel like i needed to put my two cents in this one i have already made a reaction video on halloween kills that's on my other channel which i will post below you can go check that out but i'm here today to give you all my opinion on this one okay so there's a few extended scenes in this cut of um like when karen actually walks into the morgue looking for her husband and stuff and i'm only covering the ending on here today um, because I did purchase the DVD, which had, you know, it has the outtakes and all that. I think it's a great DVD. But first, I want to ask, why didn't David Gordon Greer use this ending? I would love to hear your take on it. Comment below. But here's mine. Let's talk about, first, we'll go into why I think they didn't use it in the final film later so the alternate ending starts at the scene where karen walks up to the room if i just showed the clip at the myers house just like in the original and then she meets her fate right or does she in my review on the original i talked about how they only show her getting slashed on her hands and stuff like that and there's really no definite like yeah you're gone girl so it appears and makes people believe that she may have survived the attack, right? But in the alternate version, as you saw, he goes all hash slinging slasher on her and they show her actually falling to the floor lifeless. Now, I love how he just looks at her fall. Like, it, that's classics. So now it's switched to, yeah, she's dead. But I see how they're slowly killing everybody off um, for Halloween ends because now you have Tommy and Karen dead, or at least assumed they're dead. And now only Lindsay, Hawkins, Allison, and Lori are left. But anyway, that's besides the point. So while Karen is getting slashed to death, it goes back and forth, kind of cuts in and out to Lori staring out the window of her hospital room and it's putting the feeling out there like she knows Karen is dying. So she picks up the phone and calls her. They show her phone ringing and who's on the other end to answer? Let's talk about the classic breathing moment here. It's absolutely priceless. That is Michael's signature right we all know him just like in the 1978 movie this is what he does so here's Lori listening to michael breathing and she says i'm coming for you michael <coughs> then it cuts into her walking out of the hospital knife in hand which we saw in the trailer and she is pissed how is that not the perfect ending to pick up for halloween ends I mean, what a cliffhanger. In my opinion, the reason I think they moved away from this ending is because I believe ends picks up after a four-year jump. 
is what I'm hearing. Two or four. I think it's four. Still, I think they could have made it work with this alternate ending by getting maybe the girls together to kick some Michael ass. I mean, I'm not sure why there's so much of a year gap anyway. Like, what's Michael going to do in four years? Um, I don't know if you have thoughts what's going to happen here. Leave it down below. But I thought they I thought they made a mistake by not using this um, alternate ending. I think it would have been just a way better way to pick up ends. Now, my theory on how this is going to end is I think Hawkins and Allison and Lori and Lindsay are all going to get together and try to finally kill Michael. However, I don't think he, I think maybe somehow, you know, he's going to get a part of them. But in the end, my theory, I think that both uh, Michael and Lori are going to kill each other and they're both going to die at the same time. So that's my theory. Tell me what you think. What are your thoughts on how this awesome, awesome franchise will finally come to an end? Let me know. That's my reaction. That's my review. And if you haven't got a chance to go get that DVD, go get it. Um, I think it's worth it. it. It is, you know, it has the outtakes. It has the alternate scenes, not just the alternate ending. It has extended scenes that they didn't use in the movie um, that were actually cut out. So I think it's worth, it's worth watching. And if not, then, you know, it's always worth popping it back in and seeing it for the 18th time. So thanks, guys, for watching this episode of Movie Review Monday. And I'll see you next week.